Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in Devil May Cry 5. Honestly, if you have like a decent computer, this game is well optimized. Uh, I'm running like a constant 144 FPS, everything at high on my computer and it's pretty, it's pretty slick honestly this game. So I uh, will show you first of all what you need to change inside of the game and after that we will go in the config file. We can change a couple of stuff that you can do uh, in the game. So this is my parameter. Um, I'm playing with my refresh rate because of my monitor. I have a 144 hertz screen, full HD, display mode, really important, play full screen. Don't use the other one, a borderless or window, you will lose FPS. Frame rate, I'm using variable because I'm using the V-Sync and I'm putting it on. Uh, normally I don't use V-Sync, but in this game I can do a lot more than 144 FPS. And I want to lock it because when I stream it with my NVEC, uh, I don't want uh, my uh, video card to be at 100% usage and lag it in my stream. Uh, rendering middle, I'm using the normal and resolution scaling, use 100. After that, after all the changes, I will show you if you still don't get your 60 uh, FPS, you can lower your resolution or lower the resolution scaling here. But here, you will see that your image quality will decrease a lot. So uh, I don't. This is pretty much the last resort. So let's start with the parameter. Texture quality, I'm playing at I. I can put Ultra if I want. This is depending on your VRAM. Honestly, if you have more than 6 gig, you will not have any issue with I or Ultra. If you have like something like 3 gig, go with medium. And if you have less than 3 gig, go with low. Mesh quality, I'm putting at medium. You can, don't get a lot of uh, a nice boost with this. It's pretty much like 2 FPS for each bracket. So not a huge deal. Anti-aliasing, play FXAA with TAA. Uh, it will give you like 2% of increase, so uh, use this one, don't use just the TAA one. Motion Blur, uh, I am using Variable, uh, honestly it's just an effect, it doesn't change your FPS, so uh, if you don't like Motion Blur, just like remove it. Effect quality is kind of important, uh, I'm putting at low, uh, when you fight and you see that you're getting a lot of drop in your FPS, it's pr probably because of the effect quality. So this one is more for, to, to get like a stable FPS when you fight. Uh, if you just run in the city and stuff like that, you will not get the, the boost uh, right away with the effects quality. It's more like when you're fighting. Shadow quality, shadow cache, ambient occlusion, those three are huge. Put those one at off and minimum for shadow quality. You will gain a, like a 15% boost in your FPS. So this one is like a huge deal uh, if you're struggling with your FPS. Bloom also, you can remove Bloom and Lens Flare, you will get like a 4% boost, so it's pretty nice uh, to have this. Um, and also make sure volumetric light quality, you don't use it. Uh, I was losing like 6% uh, of my FPS at low and 10 at high. So although when you see the volumetric in any game, just remove this or just lower it, you will see that uh, you're getting a huge impact with it. Um, the last three ones, screen space reflection, subscattering, and chromatic aberration. Uh, the last one doesn't change, it's like maybe one or two FPS, but screen space reflection, you're getting a nice boost with this, like 3% of FPS. And uh, subscatter, uh, subsurface scattering, sorry, I have uh, some issue with my English today. Um, you're getting like 2% of increase, so you can put those one at off. So when you're done, you just back, and now we will go in the config file. To find your config file, you need to go in your Steam library when you install the game, Steam Apps, Common, Devil May Cry 5, open the config. So this is pretty much the config that you have, cur you currently have on your, uh, that we just did in your game. The first thing that you want to maybe change is the target platform. Uh, the game is using DirectX 12. You can put this one at 11 if you have like an old video card. Uh, integrate video card and stuff like that. You will have a nice boost here if you put it this one at DirectX 11. And the other one that you need to change is the depth of field. Put this one at false and it should help also. And it also it will remove some essential uh, stuff in the, uh, I think it's the uh, mission seven. So yeah, that's about it. So after that, you save it. In my case, I can because I put the file in read only and if you want to make sure that the game doesn't override your file put the game in read only 
so you don't want to the game override the setting that you just did and uh, even sometimes when you patch a game uh, they just reset your settings so this is a way to protect your config so that's about it guys if you have any questions just come in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace everyone